My Biggest Lie is a novel that begins with my narrator, Liam Wilson, boarding a flight reluctantly uh, to Buenos Aires. He's leaving his life behind in tatters. Uh, his girlfriend's dumped him. Uh, he's been sacked from his job after his role in the death of a famous novelist, Craig Bennett. Um, and the reason, the reason, there's a reason for all of these problems. He's a liar and he's a hedonist. And he's going to reform himself, of all places, in Buenos Aires, um, perhaps one of the most sensual, hedonistic and duplicitous places in the world. When my narrator arrives in Buenos Aires, he immediately spends his time trying to uh, win his girlfriend back, Sarah, by writing her wild, uh, rhetorical, lyrical love letters. Um, by the end of the novel, they're about two or three notebooks long. Um, and uh, kind of the novel is, in, in many ways, a kind of interrogation of, of what a love letter is, or what to say I love you is. Um, and uh, my narrator realises, I think, how, how much uh, accepting a declaration of love is an act of faith, and how hard it is if you're, you're already known to be a liar. So he, he sets about writing a very complicated love letter, um, the kind the world's never seen. You know, he, he sets about writing the world's best ever love letter and, and you don't really know what form that love letter takes until the very end of the novel. He's surrounded by kind of bad influences in a way. People who, who are constantly telling him the story of their life in an entertaining way. And he loses track, I guess, of of whether there is a kind of referent behind, behind what he's saying, you know, and, and, and he, he thinks he can invent himself just as he works in stories and, and he works with people constantly making up their own stories. He becomes addicted in a way to stories. At least he knows he's a liar. I think a lot of people don't know they're liars, you know, I think that's, that, may be, that may be his redeeming feature that he, he is self-aware. <laughs>